Hey everybody, so uh, the kids are asleep. Uh, my youngest daughter turns two on Sunday, so in order for us to have a quick meal tomorrow after we're done cleaning up, getting the yard ready, all that kind of stuff, um, I'm gonna be making some pulled pork, and I thought I would take that opportunity to also smoke beaver ham. So this is the back quarter off of the uh, one of the very first beaver I caught. Um, that's on my YouTube channel. You can see that catch um, on the channel as well. So this is the ham I'm gonna be smoking. This is my rub. Um, it's basically a tablespoon each of black pepper, garlic powder, paprika, chili powder, and then it's two tablespoons of salt. So um, I'm gonna get this all rubbed down, get it in the fridge, and then uh, show you what I do for the smoker um, tomorrow. All right, so my wife and I were getting ready for the party. Just finished up um, cleaning out the garage. But one step that I always do whenever I'm gonna be running my smoker is I will take my hunks of wood, which seem to last longer in my smoker, and uh, I will soak them in water. So I have a clean five gallon pail. I have the last of my hunks of wood from last year that are gonna get soaked to go on the smoker um, so that they won't burn up as fast. And I'm gonna fill the bucket with water, dump in the wood, wood chips will be ready to go for the morning. So, see you guys soon. So this is my soaker, smoker setup. This is just a really simple little master build. Um, it's not huge, you know, it's not a big giant smoker. Um, it runs on propane. You know, you control the temperature with the with the flow nozzle. Um, and I was saying yesterday that this smoker has a tendency to really burn up my wood chunks really, really fast. And that's not really what you want when you're uh, when you're smoking. Um, they should be they shouldn't be ashing like that. It gives you a really dirty smoke. It gives you a really, really strong smoke flavor. Um, so today uh, we're gonna try trick I learned um, from a barbecue website which is to take an old cast iron pan and put it on top of the pan that would normally hold your chips so I'm gonna put this on top of that pan and then that being a thicker metal it should way slow down the smoke rate of my chunks so I should be able to use less wood get a cleaner smoke and get a better flavor. So that's what we're going for today. One thing you'll see on my smoker are these colored lines right here. So this is 200 and it's in blue. This line is 250, this line is 300, and this line is 350. Um, basically anywhere between the, anywhere you know under this blue line, I know I'm cold. Um, even if I get close to that blue line, I know I'm cold. 250 to 300 I know I'm good anything over 350 I know I'm running real hot the reason I have those on there because on a day like today when it's rainy I can just look from my patio porch and I can see that red needle I can check that red needle and tell exactly where I'm at whether I'm too hot too cold I need to come out and make an adjustment whatever um, so one thing to keep in mind when you whenever you open and close this you're gonna let in and out a lot of heat so um, I like to let this get really hot which is why this is almost all, cranked all the way up I like to let this get really really hot in there so that when I open it I can turn my heat down um, close it up and I'll be right on where I want to be for a temperature um, once I get the door closed and that way I'm not, you know, having big fluctuations in my, uh, smoke temp. So right now it's raining. Uh, it's kind of cold today, but, um, this smoker is running right at 300. That's exactly where I want it. Cause I got a pork butt in there. I'll show you what that looks like in just a second, but I just wanted to show you this cause this is pretty awesome. So this is my, uh, that's that, um, 
cast iron skillet you can see in there. See how there's almost no ash on those wood chips? They're just kind of turning into charcoal. That's exactly what I'm looking for. That's why I did that that um, trick with the Dutch oven because, or with the cast iron skillet because I want to make sure that I'm not burning the chips. I'm just getting them to smoke. And you can see that there's almost no color to the smoke coming out if you look right here. Um, and that means that the, the wood is smoking and not burning. And that's what you So this is my pork butt. And this is my mop. This is a... Um, full cup of apple cider vinegar, a half a cup of Worcestershire sauce, and a quarter cup of honey. And then uh, I just put some black pepper in there too, just to keep that um, seasoned. And the reason you do a mop is because smoke is pretty much dry heat. So um, you don't wanna dry your meat out. Um, and so you can mop it and that'll give you a little bit more moisture. Um, now this is a really nice pig. This pig actually I butchered myself. It came from a farm here in Wisconsin. Um, uh, it was about 300 pounds when I got the pig. Um, butchered, I think maybe we got uh, maybe, I don't know, 80, 90 pounds of half. So maybe 180 pounds or 200 pounds total um, of meat. So this fat is like super, super perfect. And you can see that it's slowly starting to render out. So that's gonna base your meat too. Um, fat's super important when you smoke. But um, so that's where we're at right now. This is gonna go for a little while longer yet. Um, looks like I got a fire going down there, so that's not good. I gotta get well, as you guys can see, I have a helper with me right now. And uh, it's raining. So I've never used one of these fangled things before but apparently it's called an umbrella and it keeps you dry when it's rainy outside so i know uh this is kind of what everybody's been looking forward to so. um it's time to put the beaver on the smoker so this this right here is that beaver ham and it has been uh sitting in a dry rub all night. Um, again, that's uh, brown sugar, uh, half a cup of brown sugar, um, two tablespoons kosher salt, a tablespoon black pepper, a tablespoon chili powder, a tablespoon garlic powder. So I uh, just put a fresh chunk of hickory on the smoker and I'm gonna pop the beaver ham in here real quick. Make sure the smoker's going at about 300. That's, that's what I like to smoke at. Um, and uh, this is just going right in. So, you see her sitting in there? Um, that cast iron in the bottom of the smoker is working freaking fantastic. Oh, God. Okay, and I'm, I'm losing control of stuff, so uh, we'll be back soon. So here is that finished pork. Um, I'm gonna cut a slice here, because I wanna see what this looks like. Check that out. That is pure pork perfection right there. Look at that. We got a little bit of a smoke ring on the edge. Nice and juicy and tender. I mean, this just slides right through. Um, we're not eating until about seven tonight. I don't know why this went so fast. So uh, we're gonna get it cooled down so that we can stay out of the danger zone and then we'll pop it in a crock pot and we'll warm it back up that way. That's fantastic. My kid has an itchy pee pee. Um, but I want to show you the reaction of my wife eating this, this perfectly smoked pulled pork. <laughs> Very good. All right, so here we are. We're at 190 degrees internal temp. Um, this thing is ready to rock and roll. So I am going to pull this, take it inside, pull it, toss it with some barbecue sauce, and uh, we're gonna eat. So uh, stay tuned. All right, so this is where I'm at. That's the, that's the beaver ham. That is the pulled beaver meat. This is one of my trapping buddies. Now, Wendell. Have you ever eaten beaver before this? No. What do you think of the beaver? It's yummy. I love it. I love it. I can dream. 
It's like a dream. That's you. All right. Have you ever eaten beaver before no. in your whole life? No. And what did you think? It was pretty good. What would you compare it to? Mm, similar to beef. Okay. Rich what? tasting with no aftertaste, like that gamey aftertaste, doesn't have that. Would you uh, would you say that um, pulled and smoked is the way to go, or would you try it in a burger? Uh, I like it pulled and smoked. I like the would smoky you? flavor, but I would try it in a burger. I've only tried it once.